It's a heavyweight championship showdown between Khabib Nurmagomedov and AJ Anthony Joshua. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. was the one who would wrest the belt away. Now the fight is here. We'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the Octagon has ever seen. for this, our main event of the evening. So these fighters are just a year apart with big differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed USC Heavyweight Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 237 pounds. Fighting out of London, England, introducing the challenger, Anthony Joshua. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a grappler, holding a professional record of 28 wins, no losses. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of the Republic of Dagestan, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. All right, this is for the championship. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. You will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. The fighters touch gloves. Ready. Ready to fight? All right, 
right, so here we go, round one of this highly anticipated tilt between the strong striker and the decorated grappler. Any chance that these guys mix it up, or are you just expecting them to stick to what got them to the dates? I'm expecting a pretty straightforward approach from both of these fighters. The striker will try to lead with his punches and his kicks, and the grappler will try to time a takedown, time a clinch position so he can start to work towards a lot of his great judo throws that he possesses. Once on the ground, he is in his realm and will start to chase submissions. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Look at that switch knee. Beautiful switch knee. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the king. Nice. And they separate. Talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. They're certainly getting after it early. Both fighters here continuing to try to get him more. Now he's masterful from here. Well, he went to a single switch to a high cross. Oh, oh takes it from behind. What a fantastic takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High level grappling could really be entertaining. Side control now. Oh, he's got the knee on the belly. Could be trouble defensively. Archie, good ground and pound by him here. Certainly staying busy, and not just busy, but effective. You can just throw punches to keep the referee off you. This guy is throwing punches to be effective, to throw damaging strikes. He's doing a fantastic job. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, really nice work to keep busy off of his back as he lands some more offense here for Bob. The ground and pound has been there all night. He's got a serious right punch, and he went to it effectively there. It is his money shot, and he will continue to throw it until he finds a knockout. Looks like he's trying to isolate an arm here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura no, here. He falls back into the finishing position. Absolutely, he finishes his opponent by way of submission. He gets it done by submission tonight, champ. Just watch how slowly he approaches the submission, though. He never rushes. He takes his time, but it's his trickiness. It's his ability to trick people into going to the floor with him that puts them in danger and finishing fights. All right, so there is the consensus baddest man on the planet, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. He leaned on the grappling. That was the path of least resistance, and that is the man they are all chasing for UFC heavyweight gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called to stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 36 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out due to an arm bar. Still the baddest man on the planet, and now with another highlight for the real, the heavyweight champion submits the number one contender here tonight, and now celebrates with his corner after just a monumental performance here tonight. I'm not sure we've ever seen him perform more cleanly or more efficiently than he did here tonight. Your heavyweight champion, and still a winner by submission tonight.